Hello fine folk, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to episode 13 of the Soviet Republic tutorial. So we're going through all the tutorials. We've done the basic mechanics, we've done the, we've done the transportation and uh, we got up to ships and containers. Now it's forklifts and distribution. So let's start the tutorial. Such a lot of tutorials because it's such an in-depth in -depth game and after that we've done all this we're going to move on to building our own city and seeing how that goes. But let's get understanding first of how we play the game. And that means it'll be more enjoyable uh, when we start to build the city. So uh, we're waiting for the vehicle type to initialize, as it says on the screen. And uh, it's loading, so it shouldn't be much longer now. Three, two, one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, here we go. Right, so build a warehouse to expand factory storage. Uh, in case a factory runs out of space, you can expand space by purchase, purchasing additional storage and connecting buildings by factory connections, conveyors or pipelines, which we covered already in the other episode. So if a vehicle comes to the factory, it's still will to load materials from the neighboring building. Factory will choose the storage which contains less product. So down to cargo and storage and down to warehouse and warehouse again. So we're going to line this up by using the mouse, the mouse wheel, I mean. When it's green, yep, we'll snap it in place. There you go. So they're building, we're building something there now. Right, it says how remove the conveyor to fix the chain. Okay. So let's remove that conveyor. Uh, how am I going to do that? Oh. So it's not letting me do that, is it? Conveyors. Okay, but I can't do nothing. Why not? Hmm. Is this a bug? It's telling me. Oh, here. Right, okay, I beg my pardon. <laughs> here, okay. Right, so that's done. Because it's got a connection there so what do we do now if you want to move resources between storages or any other buildings you can place conveyor engine which take resources from input building and move them to output buildings okay so here we go is the conveyors it wants us to put one here so like that i think there you go so there's a conveyor good job so it's taking stuff from here and pushing it into there Build a pipeline over the road using the E key. Okay. So we're going to build a pipeline over the road using an E key. Here, look. Okay. So let's click on storage. Let's go pipeline. And let's use the E key. Okay. Hmm. It's a bit tricky. So what's down? E, Q and E. Alright, here we go. Cool. So, all right, so I've got to do another bit now. Okay. Excellent. And now we're going downhill. There you go. There, that's it. So we built a pipeline over the road. Cool. What next? Build a forklift garage. Okay, forklift garage is that little forklift truck there. So let's place that like that. Okay. And then you want to click on that for the forklift. Purchase. Click on forklift. Why, it's so detailed this game, mind, isn't it? Now, select the source building. Manage forklift tasks. Okay, so now we select the building where the forklift should load resources. Update, load, and load checkboxes needed. So, okay. 
So this is going to be the load, I suppose. So we're going to load stuff there. And we're going to take and load out there. Okay. And then here, he's going to unload it. So we take load off. And that's it. So he should now... Here we are, he's loading stuff up there. And he's going to take it over there to unload. It's so detailed. It's amazing, this game. It's really, really good. It just takes time to learn how to play it. Okay, so next uh, we're going to build a distribution office. But the distribution office um, uses existing road network and set up a... Dis right, sorry, beg your pardon. You can use the existing road network and set up a distribution office which, which will automatically operate trucks according to the situation in your production train. This is great for distributing to shops. Okay. So here's cargo again. Small distribution office. Cool. So let's click on it. Got to purchase a truck. A covered one. Okay, so we've got to send this existing truck we've got. Right, and we've got to tell it to go and change depot to here. And then he's going to go off and do his business from this depot. And now we've got to select the source building where they should load trucks from okay so manage office tasks now let's remember this so we have to click we have to click on a truck and assign it to this building and we did that with this we did that with uh, oh it's gone now it was like okay so we're going to click on here manage office tasks all right and we are going to say um set the source building where trucks should load resources okay so this is going to load resources from here Okay, load. And percentage we need to put 80%. Oh, okay, just an example. We do want to unload there. Okay. And then we've got to tell it to unload here. So we click on unload there. Set as a second shop. And now there's another building. Well, that's quite good, isn't it? it? Means you don't have to worry about uh, so unloading the second building, unloading the third building. That's really good. That's all for the tutorial. Right, that's really good. That's really good, actually. So we've got the forklift guy who's unloading and loading from place to place. We've got this distribution um, center, which allows you to load from one building and drop it off in different places. Uh, we built a pipeline over here. And we also built... Uh, what else did we do? I can't remember now. Uh, we did this, this conveyor belt connection, and we built uh, an office... An extra storage there, storage warehouse. So, excellent. That's all it for this tutorial, guys. So, join us for the ne next tutorial. And uh, I think we're going to come, we're very near the end now of the um, transport area of tutorials. So, join us for the next one, and uh, we'll see you then. Avidarchi.